Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Jackson Crawford, and I'm back with another video in my series on the origin of individual specific rune letters. And today, the one that I want to talk about is uh, fairly straightforwardly non-diagnostic for the origin of the runes, but interesting nonetheless, and that is the U rune, probably named Urus in the Elder Futho. Now I'm still really happy with a video from about a year ago in which I talked about what the origin of the rune names was, or not the origin exactly, but how they are how we come up with what the names of the runes were in Elder Futhark. They're actually not written down anywhere in Elder Futhark. And the U rune presents a surprisingly difficult uh, question for us because the name is not the same in all of the rune poems uh, from later medieval time, which uh, are really where we get the names of the runes. So it has a different meaning in the Icelandic rune poem than it does in the Old Norwegian and Old English rune poem. In Icelandic, the Icelandic rune poem we read Ur er skýja krotur. So Ur is uh, a type of precipitation. It is the the uh, clouds weeping skýja krotur here. Uh, something like uh, sleet might be uh, a decent English translation there. But notice in Old Norwegian we have Ur er av illu jarni Ur is from bad iron. This is the meaning Ur of slag, like slag from the smithing process. And then we have yet another name in the Old English rune poem, Ur bid anmod an overhyrnid, fella frekna deur, fechtet mer hornum, mera mor stapa, that is modi, wicht. Uh, an Ur is steadfast and horned on top, a very brave animal, fights with its horns, a great swamp stepper, it is a brave animal. So there we're talking about uh, an Ur ox. So which of the three meanings, some kind of precipitation like sleet, um, slag from bad iron, or the aurochs, the animal, is the original one? Whatever the particular original source is, we can probably reconstruct the name as Urus. The question is just what that name meant. Now one thing I've wondered is whether the names of the runes in Elder Futhark which aren't very similar to their names in um, any of the possible ancestor alphabets, right? Uh, you look at Aleph in uh, the, the early Semitic alphabets, Alpha in Greek, or just A ah in the Roman alphabet, and none of those is gonna give you um, Ansus. I've wondered if these names could be originally just names and that later meaning was attributed to them, right? Maybe they were picked up from the names of another mediating people. If so, that might help explain why something that sounds similar but means three different things could become the name of a rune like this. But regardless, the rune shape doesn't really help us tell where it comes from. It's a shape like a V upside down and that V shape is actually a very old shape for Upsilon and in Greek alphabets, um, so it could go back to any number of archaic Greek alphabets or the classic Greek alphabet, or the Roman alphabet is an upside down V, or one of these Alpine alphabets. It's just too hard to tell, and it's not going to be what the diagnostic rune shape is. Still, I think that it's interesting, the different names for the rune in these different languages, and um, it does sort of lead us into some of this weird speculation about how exactly these names were come up with, which we will probably never know the answers to 
and which are a pretty separate question from where do those shapes come from. In this case, obviously from some version of Upsilon or V, but from what specific alphabet? Just not diagnostic. Well, that's a quick look at the rune for you. And for now, from close to the timberline, beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.